this habitat, this marshy habitat, is perfect for British snakes. There's lots of sunny areas for them to bask during the day. And also, lots of water for them to cool off. And also, it's a great source of food. Most of the British snakes feed mainly on amphibians, newts, frogs, etc. And these can all be found in this sort of environment. It's perfect. Areas like this are ideal for hiding out when it's too hot to bask in the open. Right, right, right. Okay, so this is the grass snake. They're what we call oviparous. They lay eggs. They're the only British snake to lay eggs. Very calm, very placid snake. They're the, they're the most likely snake you'll find in your gardens because they come in to lay eggs in the compost heaps. They're totally harmless. The only venomous British snake is the adder. These, these guys are totally harmless. And um, in fact, their only natural predator be something like a badger, possibly a fox, but um, she's actually been very, very well, hey, 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 very well behaved at the moment. Little hiss, and that's just to to warn predators. That's what adders do. So she's trying to mimic an adder a little bit there, and they secrete this stuff, this uh, this uh, substance from their tail. You can see just a bit down here and um, it really stinks. Glad it doesn't smell a vision because it really, really smells. And that's a, that's a threat display. <clears throat> and if they get really stressed, they'll even feign death. They'll, they'll curl up over themselves and uh, they'll actually pretend to be dead. Yeah. And the only way you can tell it's not is the flicking of the tongue. That's the only, way that, the only sign that gives it away. But she's been really, really quiet and placid and I'm just going to let it go on her way. There you go. Grass snake. Woo!